welcome to the 19th Annual Queensland Sportswomen of the Year Awards. Tonight we showcase and celebrate some of the state's finest female athletes and we announce who will be the 2011 Queensland Sportswoman of the Year. We are here with rising star winner Zoe Ormrod. Zoe, how does it feel to win one of the awards? Um, I don't know, it was really good. <laughs> yeah, it was really exciting and I really enjoy coming. And what are you going to do with the funding that you've been given from the Queensland Government? Um, usually it goes towards competitions overseas mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's a really big sport overseas so it's, you really need to have the experience by competing overseas and that's what I can do with the money. Hopefully. That's fantastic. Now you have had a fantastic 2011. How do you feel with your performances having won this award? Um, well it was really good because I think I've made a really big improvement from my last year coming placing first at nationals which was really exciting and I didn't see it coming but it was really good to know that all the hard work pays off I guess. So. Absolutely. Taryn Golshensky, congratulations on winning the Emerging Athlete Award. How do you feel? I feel absolutely amazing. It's such an incredible award and I just feel so pri privileged to have received it. You did an amazing speech. Well done. You made your mum cry actually. <laughs> mum, how proud are you? Very. Yes. Just, yeah, over. I, yes, over the moon. I can't, can't describe it. Well, you are an upcoming athlete, so what are your hopes for the future? I have World Junior Championships next year. I've actually been training really hard to medal in that one, um, hoping to get a good result. And then after that, Olympics is the, is the aim. So, well, Good luck with the Olympics. Women's Sport Queensland wishes you all the best. Thank you. Emma Jackson, triathlete, winner of the 2011 Junior Sportswoman of the Year. How does it feel to win this award? Well, it's a great honour winning this award against all the other athletes and finalists. Um, I feel very happy to win this award and hopefully can yet yeah, keep improving. And you are the Emma in front at the moment, is that correct? Oh, so yeah, this 2011 season yeah. I am. <laughs> well, well done Emma and congratulations and I hope you have a fantastic 2012. Oh, thank you very much. Team of the Year winners, we're here with Lauren North, captain of the Queensland Firebirds and Candice Adams, goal shooter. How do you girls feel winning this award after such a fantastic season? It's just awesome to be honest, it's been a, um, a while since the season's finished so it's almost like reliving it again and obviously when you play a team sport to win a team award like this just means the world to us. It's fantastic, how are you going to back up 2012? What haven't you done this year? What, what are your goals for next year? Uh, that's actually the key question, usually it's like oh, how are you going to pull things together to make the finals the following year and this year the challenge is to raise the bar and obviously um, to improve in performances again. And, um, it's still a little while off, we don't start training until January so we've got a long time to think about that but I think having that taste of success now really means that we're even more hungry to have it again. You've had the taste, you're hungry for 2012 to be a successful year as well. Congratulations for winning Team of the Year and hopefully next year you can back it up. Well done girls. We're here with Vicky Wilson, netball legend and the first winner of the Queensland Sportswoman of the Year Award in 1993. Vic, how do you think things have changed since that time? Well, it's changed enormously. There's been a terrific amount of support for females in sport. And I think it's got a lot to do with the way we're now starting to market ourselves. And no longer are organisations scared of individuals having a profile and that's what they need. The girls need to have profiles for people to be able to identify with them and their sport. And if we continue along those lines, I think we're just going to just keep growing and growing. You know, we've always been remarkable in our performances, but now the media are starting to recognise these terrific uh, performances, particularly on the international stage. Now, I'm going to ask you for a bit of a tip. Who do you think will win this year's Sportswoman of the Year award? Well, I think it's either between Sally or Sam. So Sally to run the fourth fastest time in history is just incredible. And Sam's win in the US Open, again, an amazing feat. So 
Uh, I'm leaning kind of towards Sam, but then sometimes I think back to Sal. But I think Sam. Uh, I'd have to go Stephanie Gilmore. Steph Gilmore? Yeah. And Katrina, who do you think? I have to say Sam Sosa. She just did amazing winning the US Open, and I think she really deserves it. Oh, it's got to be Sally Pearson. That's what I think. Yep. Stephanie Gilmore, for sure. Stephanie Gilmore, too. Definitely Sally Pearson. I think Sam Sosa's going to win it. Yeah, Sam Sosa. Two for Sam, one for Sally. Why do you guys think Sally? She's just been so consistent over the year and she's just great to watch perform. And why do you both think Sam? Well, she won the US Open, so it's a really good achievement. It is pretty good, hey. She did amazing. Hyundai Queensland Sports Women Award is... I mean, I was up against some amazing athletes in Queensland, so I didn't think it was possible. But I mean, I have had a, a really good season, so I was hoping that was going to help me through. But it is a truly a big honour to win this award tonight. Women's Sport Queensland is very proud of you, and you are actually the first back to back winner. Do you think you can take out the title next year after you take out the London? Oh, I don't know. It depends. I mean, next year is a huge year, so anything can happen. And I mean, I hope that I do run well in my events. And I mean, if that gets me the award next year, then so be it. <laughs> well, we really wish you all the best. You will do your uh, athletic hope in London. So fantastic work. And thank you so much, Sally. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap up for the 2011 Queensland Sportswoman of the Year Awards. A very big congratulations to Sally Pearson who took out the major award. We look forward to seeing you all next year.